Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Be a Walker Battle for El Dorado. Um, thought this kind of looked neat. Like, look at this. With the local People in the foreground moving, like little like orc looking right. dudes with spears and things like Dead that, and guns shooting and stuff like that. Thought it looked kind of interesting, so I was like, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's see what this game is all about. We're playing it on the Nintendo Switch, of course. Why not, right? But let's go ahead and see what this game is all about. And uh, see what we can do. See what uh, type of fun we have. So there's the walker. Elite warriors offer any resistance against the onslaught. So we're going to be a walker, guys. Literally, we will be a walker. Arrows found weak spots, penetrating and cockpit pilots shells. Pilots died from the poisonous atmosphere. atmosphere. Your brother's, Your brother's walker was immobilized. Arrows pierced its was pierced servo drives. Couldn't move. All right, so we but can move. The There's the aiming system. For as long as right, fight. each weapon. All right, I shot the weapons. Okay, so swing the cop hit from side to side. All right, so so far so good. Looks like you have a little bit of a cooldown on the bottom right of, of your weapon, so you kind of got to make sure you attack everything. Now I'm trying to wiggle those fat dudes off. I think I should be able to be mobile in a little bit. Okay, let's get these guys down here. So of course this is the first stage kind of just teaching you the weapon systems. What's Y do? I have no idea what Y does. Alright, and you're defenseless until the cooldown finishes. So there we go. It's kind of like the Ewoks, <laughs> like the, how the Ewoks attacked all the walkers and stuff. Oh, that was a big old spear that came. Look at this guy, he means some serious business. What's he doing? Is he telling me to stop? That's how your brother died. Okay, so my brother died in a walker. Many that day. I'm gonna skip the call. I don't need I don't need to listen. There's the walker movement. Okay. So in order to walk, you have to push the the, the left trigger, let go of it, and each time you push it. The longer you hold it down, that's a walk. Okay, that's kind of neat. So look, ZL, let go. ZL, let go. But you got to push forward with the left analog stick too. So it's, it's kind of an interesting way. So so smaller taps do smaller, smaller footsteps, or you could do bigger ones. It's all right. It's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> it's very interesting. So manual mode, walker movement, or auto. In this mode, you mainly have to lift the legs of your walker. This is recommended when dodging attacks, targeting a particular foot, or walking through. You can also switch to auto. Okay, so auto mode, you just hold forward and it switches to auto. I actually kind of like that. Let's go to auto, so I don't have to mess with pushing the trigger button. I'm sure I'll be okay. It's the first level anyway, right? <laughs> I was already communicating with each other through our messenger. It's convenient. Does not interfere with our work. Just keep going. The message will disappear after some time. By the way, don't take too long. Your oxygen supply is limited. Can only be replenished at a station. So I have oxygen supply. Uh, I'll move my... You look right there. The blue is oxygen. The green his health. I'll move my camera right there. I guess the camera should be okay right there, right guys? Proceed straight down the road. Alright, so let's go down the road. Uh, can I step on these dudes? Yeah, you can. That's actually legit. So 
since I'm out of bullets. Why are these savages so so upset at me? Is what I want to know. Did we do something to hurt them? This guy's on top of my. All right, we're good to go. Got all these guys. And all right, what's happening now? I don't have any cool weapons yet. I just have the uh, the ZR weapon. I don't know what ZY does. I don't have it yet. There you go. Watch out. ZR takes a while to uh, to refill. All right. <laughs> It does take a little bit of getting used to, especially because right now I'm only able to attack with ZR and it has a cooldown. Or I could step on them. Step on them seems to be doing some work. But when they come underneath you, it's a little bit harder. Savages, where the hell they come from? The squad cleared the sector just yesterday. These number of boys were lost for change. That's good. All right, we're gonna step on all these dudes. Step on everybody. Just like how you step on this little man in real life. These guys. Ooh, look, I just cleared a whole bunch of them. These guys jump up on you, too. Boom. I like how you can see the guts dangling off, off your feet. It's pretty funny, actually. Come on, dude. Okay. Not a bad little introductory stage, I'll tell you that much. My oxygen level is pretty low, though, so I hope I can make it to the end of the level without dying. Greetings, Walker. I'm pleased that you managed to arrive at our incident. Before you ask, no. The little skirmish done weren't mentioned. It's such a daily ritual here on El Dorado. I head straight through the airlock to the workshop. All right, so time through the airlock. Maybe this will refill my oxygen. Mission accomplished. Okay. I'm getting oxygen levels now. Enemies killed, 66. I got a reward. Not bad, not bad, as Baron Von Keeb, the joking but sometimes serious gamer, says. All right, I mean, I guess this is all right. It's not... It's different. That's the main thing. It definitely gets points for originality. I'm pleased to so chapter one. I am General Daniel Garay. We are going to just skip that. Okay, so workshop. We can get armor. We can get air filters. We can get cannon. I feel... Oh, I can also repair. I have a leak. I feel like the cannon would be a definite upgrade. Oh, I got to up... I got to repair first. Great. There we go. And armor. Do I have enough to do anything else? Energy. Air filters, cooling. There we go. Did the best I could. Only have one weapon. Let's mount the cannon. All right, next. What can we do? Naturalist, internal patrol, jungle. Let's do jungle threat. That's cool. You can select what mission you do. It's pretty neat. Savages have penetrated the perimeter of the colony. Somehow slipped past several patrols unnoticed. Go to station L33 and eliminate the natives. All right, let's do it, boys and ghouls. Kill us some Ewok natives. So now I have the option for Y. Because I got them. So let's see what happens when we push Y. Where are these savages at? 
Hello, where are you guys at? Ollie Ollie Oxen, there, there's one. Is that a kamikaze dude? Rockets too. I have no idea what pushing Y does, but that's cool. <laughs> I pushed it, so I don't know if it's doing anything. It turns green. Y'all see that? I don't know, maybe that's a repair. Or it's coolant. That's what it is. It's a coolant system. I don't know if that does anything of importance. Let's kill the guys behind me. What do they want here? This hasn't been any, anything to hunt for a long time. There's no other tribes unless they're hunting humans. They are purple and green little savages, so maybe that's what they want. Feels like the cooldown is going by a lot quicker. Step on him. Shoot ha! That dude's running away. Y'all see that? My oxygen is about to leak big time. That's no bueno. Yeah, my oxygen leaked. Alright, this is definitely a game that I gotta grind and replay but i can see the potential on it it's all right honestly i think it's okay it's not the world's greatest game but i could see you know playing a lot to upgrade your walker and it's kind of i don't know in a way kind of like an arcade game an rpg put together I, I don't know what do you guys think have you actually played this before or you kind of like say nah let's pass on this one like comment subscribe or dislike i don't care uh, i'll see you guys on the next one have a great day peace out